Hello, friends. So, um, as you can see, I have some things here. This is not collage material. Uh, so, I was about to do some stuff, and then I thought I should probably record this because this would be a lot of fun. Um, so, I actually haven't recorded a video in about a week or two. Um, no real reason. Um, I had a bunch of videos made and I was like, I really need to get through all these videos before I make more videos because I just kept making videos. So I've been working a little bit in my, um, my journal here. Um, I posted videos on that. I posted a video on that. That was, uh, the last thing I posted a video on and I made... I posted on the community tab. I kind of use that sort of like Instagram, I think. I have an Instagram, but sometimes I forget to post on it. I'm not good with social media, y'all. Like, I'm just not. Uh, but I posted a picture of this. I actually don't think that I'm quite done with it. Um, oh, yeah, you know what would be neat? And we could do it together. Y'all and me could do this together. Is that the right pink? I mean, wrong color, purple. It's not quite the correct purple. So I got some new art supplies. These are pan pastels. Um, so first off, I just have to tell y'all, I feel like a huge faker right now. Um, a, that I own pan pastels. Uh, cause I have no idea what I'm doing. So FYI, they will ship these to anybody, including me. Here we are. So what I'm going to do though, is I am going to try this. So I'm going to put the pan pastel. I think I'm going to try it on this cause this is distress texture paste. If you watch my texture paste video. Um, so I think I'm going to try this purple. It's not quite quite the same purple as in here, but that's why I'm going to put it over here. Um, and maybe it'll be awful. Maybe I really need to use this magenta -y color. Mm, let's use the magenta color. So I don't know what I'm doing. So this is not a, here's how you do it. Okay. Remember the name of this channel. This, the name of this channel is not professional crafter. It is not full ass crafter. Okay, it's how fast crafter uh, for a reason. So, you know, if you go and buy things and do what I do and you're like, that didn't work. I don't think that it will. I think nothing I do is actually going to work. FYI. Uh, that was probably a ton of this stuff. And how do you get it off? You don't. Okay, cool. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to, I think I need a smaller one. To get this in there so all I want to do I don't know yeah okay you can see what I'm doing I tried to put this is the colors I'm gonna use yeah whatever way to go planner me way to go do you not know who we are have you ever met me I do what I want oh I like that so this is Pam pastel it's it's just pigment in a in a pan, um, it's kind of like eyeshadow. I really feel it, like, A, the colors look like eyeshadow. This is the Shades pack. So they have like different packs that you can buy. And this is the Shades one. So first off, I feel like I'm playing with um, makeup. Uh, but that's really cool. I want to see what happens when I put it on this paint. I don't know where I got that gold. That's really interesting. Where'd that come from? Who knows? No telling. So if I put this on here. Oh, yeah. So I just got these in the mail today. Um, and I'll show you in a minute. I did a little. I did a little background work with them today. 
Whoa, wild. What's on there that it picked it up? That's cool. I'll let you keep it. You can keep it. Um, so the cool thing is, I did watch a bunch of videos on this. Uh, and this one lady who was like a professional fine artist or something, I don't know, she's way more uh, experienced than I am. She was like, you can just go between the, the different colors. It won't, it won't really matter. I was like, what? So I tried it today and by golly, that lady wasn't lying. I mean, she wasn't lying because she was doing it on video. So it's really hard to lie and do it on video, I suppose. But anyway, um... This is really cool. It makes it very moody. I feel like that this is super moody now. Uh, I'm not mad at it. This dark, I probably need to put the light on the dark. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. It's like I know these things, but I don't know these things. I forget them. I, whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, well, that's funny. This looks like a glare but it's it's not it's uh it's how that actually looks funny so anyway yeah so this was my i watched a lot of tisha moore videos and then i i started messing and um you know what i really like i like that the texture comes out under these wings I think that's really cool. Um, I wonder how many people scroll by and find my videos and they go, oh my God, what is that woman doing with those poor art supplies? There's a starving artist somewhere that would love to use those art supplies as they are intended. Oh, that's too much. I don't want that much. Baby wipe. Baby wipe. Will a baby wipe work? I've never done this. Oh, this is this isn't Tim Holtz, Laura. It's not Tim Holtz. Whoa, what's happening there? Wild. I'm just gonna see. Whoa. Wait, was that distress paint? I don't think it was. Anyway, uh, I don't know. We're just we're just going with it at this point. So anyway, I don't know what I did there, but fascinating I guess huh nice okay well now we know what happens wild did the paint go away no it's on my hand there maybe the paint went away maybe that is distress paint you know what it might be now that I've said all of this shenanigans. I think that is just dress paint. Anyway, okay, well, I'm gonna leave this alone now that I have sufficiently mucked around in it. Um, but that's actually kind of cool. I'm not mad at it. Um, it's really neat. We will work with those a little later. Uh, I did this one, which is not done yet. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. She has baby arms, which a friend of mine was like, that's really creepy. And I was like, uh, yeah. Well, I kind of wanted it to be a little creepy. Um, but she looks very joyful. So how creepy can it be? Uh, let me show you the backgrounds that I did with these pan pastels. And some, so this is, I did this last night and today. Um, so this one I did last night and I glued down, this is a piece of paper where I was rolling my brayer off. Um, and my gel plate as I was working with some uh, gel plating. And I just cut it up to use it as the border and I glued it down last night. And then this afternoon I got my pan pastels and I did the background of this with three different colors and took um, some more jelly plate um, cast offs maybe, I don't know. Um, some of these are actually prints that I pulled and some of them, actually, I guess they're all prints that I pulled. No, some of these are not. Anyway, so some are prints that I pulled and some are not. Um, anyway, so I did the pan pastels and then I went around and put the border on this one. This one, I put the border down and then I did the pan pastels this afternoon. 
um, which is why you can see that it's kind of around the edges. It's a little bit darker because the, the pastel sticks there, which is cool. I like that effect. Um, I like both. I think I might like this one more, but I'm not sure. Um, so that's one new art supply that I've gotten that I've been, I started playing with, uh, pan pastels. So tons of fun. Um, they're a little pricey though. I had a 40% off, 50% off coupon, uh, 40 or 50. So I got them online using a coupon. Um, this is my new game. What expensive art supplies can I buy with my 50% off coupon? Uh, the other things that I got, uh, also because they were 40% off or more, um, I got distress crayons and a handy tin. My husband used his 50% off coupon to buy me this handy tin. He is a nice person. Uh, I have some more colors coming. I haven't used these yet, so um, I can't wait to use these because I think using them after I collage is going to be interesting. Like, I think that's what I'm going to want to do. Um, so, so I have some more of those coming. They'll be here tomorrow. So what else did I do? Uh, I bought a printer because I actually didn't have a color printer. Uh, and it has a scanner. And so I scanned the back of a magazine and printed it out. So I have this magazine from 1940. Um, and this is an actual ad on the back of the magazine that I printed out. Um, so there's my print and there's the original. So this is an actual magazine. It's the woman's home companion from February, 1940. Um, it's, fascinating because it's 1940 so there were you know cameras and pictures and film um but a lot of the ads are drawn and a lot of this is all hand lettered um and hand drawn so i have a speedball book that actually talks about hand drawing because it's from like 1939 or 7 or something but it talks about how to draw ads and it's a lettering book. So it shows you how to do all these different fonts um, with a speedball pen, of course. But yeah, so this is fascinating. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here about the, um, well, there's Clark Gable. There's a lot of stuff in here uh, about the war and like, you know, your weekly war menu. Um, oh, look, there's an old Windex ad. I love Windex, FYI. I don't like, I don't like the off brand. I like Windex. Um, look at the modern gas range. Look at these veal chops. Are those eggs? What's happening here? What is this? Oh, hot spiced apricots. Okay, I thought those were egg yolks and I was like, that's, I don't think that's safe to eat. Uh, yeah, so here it is. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this whole thing about sending away for this one pattern, which will give you all of these dresses or something. I don't know, I didn't actually read it. Uh, yeah, four dresses, one pattern. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, there you go. Maybe I should do a whole, you know what? I think I will. I think I'll do a, a whole video just on going through my old magazines because I have tons of them. So anyway, so there was the original. Here's the print that I did. Obviously, the print's not as great, but I think I just want to cut out this car and use it somewhere. So, enough about that. The next interesting thing is since I have a printer that prints color, uh, the first thing I did was print out a black and white. Yep. Yep. That's what I did. Uh, but this is from Tisha Moore's website. Um, this is some alphabets that she has, uh, that you can download with her membership. Um, I got some new gel pens and test them out, but so I got that. 
Uh, and then I also printed these three printable pages from Tisha Moore. So what I want to do today is I think I'm going to use a face and I cut out these bodies and hats. So I think I want to do some of that. Um, yeah, and just kind of see how it goes. Um, I'm not terribly keen on using other people's printables. I don't know why this bothers me so much. Uh, because I feel like I'm co-opting their art, I think. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should talk about it in the comments because it really does bother me personally. When other people do it, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I like how they use that. But for me, I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't do that. Uh, so I don't know why that is. But I also have this Harper's Bazaar um, because I thought, well, I can also cut out, I could cut out her, either one of them. Uh, theirs are too small. If I take this, I'm like, oh, yeah, she works. She works. Um, maybe let's do her. I love the Harper's Bazaar, man. Stuff just comes right out of it. Uh, okay, so I want to cut out her head, and I think I want to use her on... Do I want her necklace? I could cut that necklace out super easy. Yes, I want her necklace. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And you don't have to watch. Okay, so um, I cut out her little necklace like that. Um, but that's actually not how I want it, is it? So maybe I just need to cut out, maybe I just need to not use her necklace and just use her neck or just use her head. Well, let's see, see how she works. I don't like her with a neck. So we're gonna take her neck off. Off with her neck. Okay, took her neck off, uh, but she needs some sort of neck, but not a regular neck. Aha, uh -huh. all right, now we're on to something. Let's see if Tisha has anything for a neck that we could use. Do you see anything? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? 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 I don't see any good necks here. Once we used a bird, but that would be, that might be a little weird. Let's not do that. Uh, okay, let's, See if we can find a neck. Be back. Okay, so I think I might have found something. Um, I like this, and I think it's the right size. And I think it does what I want it to do. I really love the smell of fashion magazines. I think I like, I know I've said this before, but I think I like the perfume in them, but I don't want to wear the perfume. I want to just smell it with the ink and the, um, the print, you know, paper. Okay. Yes, that's, that's it. That's what I want right there. That is totes adorbs. Uh, so do we want her to be on this body or do we want her on? No, I don't think I like her on that body. I think I like her on this body. I could also, instead of this being a hat, this could be her body. No. I don't think I like that. Uh, but I do want this. Uh, 
Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, for right now, I'm going to <clears throat> stick her head on this little croissant. Croissant! <laughs> so that's just to make sure that that's down. Yes. I actually kind of want her at an angle, I think. Can I get her at an angle is the question. Yes. I kind of want her head to be a little tippy, like, mm, what do you mean by that? Yes. Uh, but do I want her here because that bleeds into that too much? Um, do I want any of this stuff? Maybe. Maybe I actually want these two pieces of artwork because they are very interesting and small. Very small. This would be way better with like adult sized scissors, wouldn't it? Probably, probably be able to cut these out a little bit faster. Okay, uh, anything else on here that I need or want? Not really. I mean, I could have two little heads, but what would I do with them? I kind of like her head looking up. I'm gonna hang on to her. Cause she just kind of looks like she is done with your mess. You know what I mean? I'm here for it. Uh, okay. So I have these printables, but it's not looking like I really want to use them. So onward we go. Uh, okay. So that, that, and I could give her a little tippy hat like that. I could bring this down. And I know I, there's a rule of thirds, blah, 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 blah. Okay, if you don't know the rule of thirds, I'm going to tell you. I've been very surprised by the amount of people who don't know about the rule of thirds. You divide every, you divide your, your frame here into thirds. So you have one, two, three, right? You divide it in thirds this way. One, two, three, right? You want your subject, your subject can in fact be in the center, it just has to take up two thirds of any of it. So if you imagine this is a nine square grid, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, get it? It's nine squares. Your subject needs to be taking up two rows of those nine squares. So I could put her in the center. It would be pleasing, it would be fine. I would need to put things around her, uh, but our brains really like it if we are not dead center, but off to the side. So it would be best if I like put her over here and like took up these two thirds, right? And then I could do something small over here. That would be fine. Or I could move her over here or I could move it all up, but she's already taking up, you know, a whole row over here. So at any rate, uh, so there's nine squares and you just want to take up two thirds, two thirds top, two thirds bottom, two thirds right, two thirds left however you want to. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, I learned that in photography. If you learn something different, totes cool. Uh, like Craig Cameron says, he's a famous horse trainer guy in Texas. There's a million ways to do the right thing. Uh, and that's the smartest horse trainer philosophy I've ever heard. There's a million ways to do the right thing. So... Uh, so I could do this. I really would want to do something with her hat and maybe even her body. Uh, I might want, I like her eyes and her eye makeup. Ooh, what if I gave her this dude's hands or arms or this dude's arms? I wish he was, I wish they both were facing me a bit better. Um... I just don't know why I take so long to do things. I feel like I take forever. I feel like I watch other people's videos and they're done in, you know, 30 minutes, bam, done. I'm 30 minutes in and I'm still looking for arms. Like, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry that I take so long. 
Uh, but, you know, maybe it's okay. Well, she has nice arms. Let's see. What's on the other side of her? Mm, I'm not sure that there's anything there that I really want. Can I use her arms? I mean, they're great arms. There's no thumbs. Even better. Uh, let's keep looking. I just worry that maybe there's better arms that are easier to cut out. And I know, I could just give her arms. I could just cut strips of paper. Do I have, oh wait, hang on. You know what I have? I have this little piece of black that's like kind of speckled. What if I gave her I don't know if that was correct or not, but I could give her arms. Is that too ridiculous? Does she look like a penguin? She kind of looks like a penguin. I think I should give her real arms. Okay. Moving on. Uh, one thing to know about these pastels, they still come up. Uh, that's the one reason I've never really been interested in pastels. But that's just a friendly FYI. She has arms. No. She has arms. Arms, 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 arms. Arms, arms, arms. I need some arms. I need some arms. Preferably small arms. She has arms, but I don't think I'm advanced enough for those arms. I need like easy arms. Her arms are too big. I need small, easy arms. Um, I mean, what other, what other things can you use as arms? This is why I need, I need y'all to be able to talk to me because I need you to tell me the answers to all of my questions so that, what if I got her arms? Um, hmm. I don't know. She has arms. I need like small arms, not big arms. Like I need a small person. I give her ribbon arms. She could be Hermes arms. Hermes arms. Um, spoon arms. Wait. Can we give her spoon arms? What's on the other side of this? <laughs> Oh, yes. We can do whatever we want. You know why? Because we are adults. Okay, so do we want her arms, do we want her hands to be spoons? This seems sort of silly, doesn't it? They're all the same way. I need, I need, I need one to be reversed. It's fine. Um, Or we could do it like this. The other option is to flip them this way, which oddly enough, I think I like that better. Okay, cool. Um, now what we don't have are a foot for her. Yeah, I said a foot because I'm like, what if we just give her one? What if she just literally gets one foot? Or like just a shoe. Are there shoes in here? Is this a shopping catalog? I mean, it's the bazaar, right? So aren't there supposed to be like things you can buy? Yes, like shoes. 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 Oh my God, I love it. I really do. I don't know why, but I do. It looks very, very silly. Um, but I do feel like she needs something to be on, right? Like, she needs more. 
So maybe I want to put her, maybe I should glue her arms on so that I don't have to worry about those. So I'm just going to use a glue stick just to put these arms on. Um, I think I want them. Nope. Oh man, come on. I don't know where I put glue. Got them. That's where they're going. Oh, there's a lot of glue on here. So that means I can manipulate these a little bit. Okay, so do I want to, do I want to put her here? She really needs to be standing in something. I'm not even sure I really like those shoes. I mean, I like the shoes. The shoes are cool. I would never wear them, but they are cool. Um, but maybe she needs to be standing on something. Like... I don't know what would she be standing. Those are cool shoes. What would she be standing on? She could be standing on. Let's look through. House beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. What could she stand on that would be interesting? What if I cut that out? And made that a little platform for her. Can she stand on that? She could. Her little Tom Ford pumps would fit. Be back. Okay. So. I could put her on that. I feel like this needs to be lower down. So, uh, I could put her on that, like so. I know, you're all like, what are you doing? What is the end goal here? <sighs> Beats me, man. I don't know what the end goal is. I'm just, I'm just over here doing intuitive collage. I don't know. I don't know what anybody's doing. Is this intuitive collage? I think so, because I'm just like, that speaks to me. I'm going to cut it out, and I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to put this there, and I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and blah, 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 blah. And then there's a voice in my head that's like, this all sucks. What are you doing? Why are you even doing that? Stop that. It's, it's not good. I know. Um, is that the year he was born? That's just three years before my oldest son was born. Isn't that wild? Y'all, it's wild. Blows my freaking mind. Do you understand? I just cannot believe that there are like 30-year-olds out here bebopping around that were born in the 90s. What is happening? What is happening? Man. What even is happening? Oh, look, there's little rain boots. Hang on a minute. What if I, what if I did little rain boots? snazzle de do. I think I might have to do little rain boots. Can I find rain boots somewhere? Hang on. Don't I have a Land's Inn catalog? Well, y'all, y'all have to wait a minute. I'll, I'll be back. I'm gonna, oh, it's a beach Land's Inn. They're not gonna have boots. There's no shoes even in here. There's arms. There's lots of arms. That's why I saved that catalog. You want arms? You want a land's in. I'm telling you. 
Arms for days. Legs, too. Get them all. That's what I need. I need I need boots. I need a little pair of rain boots. I could I could cut I could cut boots, right? Right? Couldn't I cut little boots out? Hang on. I could cut little boots out of here, right? How do you how do you make boots? Mm, no, I think I just need, I just need boots. I do like all of these things though, so I'm gonna leave that. Let me go, where were those boots at? They were way back here in the back, weren't they? Let's go back. Oh, yeah, a little back. Um, I don't know, there was a there was a kid with a 1995, but he's not a kid because he's like 28. And that just blew my mind. Now I'm having a moment. I'm very confused. Oh, there's some bigger boots and they're green and they're totes adorbs. And I like this whole page and this other page doesn't speak to me. Okay, here we go. We're on it now, be back. Okay. So I have these little rain boots. They are totes adorbs. I'm going to give her little boots. Yes. And then a little hat. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure that I like that. I think I <gasps> This is a hat, y'all. It's a hat. It's a little hat. Look, I could put this as a little band and it is a little hat. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, wait, where are those little, didn't I, the arms that I didn't want to use, where did they go? Where did the little arms go that I didn't want to use? Because they, oh my goodness, she looks like a chimney sweep. Holy macaroni. Okay, this is it. This is what's happening. We are in it to win it. Okay, let me put all of this together. Y'all. She looks like Mary Poppins. This is too cute. I am too in love with this. Like, I don't know why I put my glue stick cap back on. Like, this is just too great. Too good. Okay, and then I'm going to put glue back here because we're going to glue this part on here. Like so. And then we want to glue her little boots on. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there she is, and it looks like she's about to go fly off of a chimney. I think it's fabulous. Uh, I don't, I wish I had, I wish I had an umbrella 
or a broom. Okay, I have an idea. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got her together. Uh, I took this, the bigger umbrella, and I just cut it on the edges to make it a smaller umbrella. Uh, I cut out this little strip. I can glue it like that. I could do like that. And she could be hanging out like this. Oh my gosh, that's totes adorbs. But then I also have these little guys. All right, let's trim these up. Y'all, my hoot owl is back. So I, if you, uh, if you've watched my videos, you know I live out in the country. Uh, if you haven't watched my videos and you're new, hello, nice to see you. Uh, I'm very glad that you're here. Uh, I'm trying to make friends on the internet. So, you know, if you could talk to me, that would be cool. Um, I mean, I have friends in real life, but they all live in the computer anyway, because I left Portland and now I live here. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know what's going on with these, but they're really neat. Figure that out in a minute. I got to do this because this is this is where I'm at. Um, yeah. Okay. So one thing that I've been working on, I have a whole sketchbook full of hand lettering um, because I really want to do that. So I've always wanted to hand letter. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all of this down and then I'm going to go and try to write something and do some doodling and maybe I can get this to look, Ooh, I always do that, I'm sorry y'all, I'm so sorry. Maybe I can get this to look kind of neat where I can put some sort of witty saying or maybe I can journal something that Mary Poppins said. Maybe I could just say like a spoonful of sugar or something, I don't know. Um, but, all right, so, Let's glue this stuff down. Right, you have to undo this, which is not intuitive. Uh, so I'm gonna glue this down, put this on it. Come on, you can, you can do it, little guy. And like that. Oh, I can't go that far down. Gotcha. Understood. I can't go that sideways. Understood. All right. How about if I just do it this way? There. That's where it can be. Like that. Yeah, and then I'm going to doodle this hat so that this line right here is white, but all of this is going to be black so that it looks like She's got Mary Poppins, but with a couple of horns up there. Maybe she's like an evil Mary Poppins. I don't know. I don't know. We're just playing, man. And then I'm going to put her there. Yeah, and then maybe I'll doodle all this. Okay, cool. See, that took me an hour, which is a very long time. I feel like other people could have this done in like 20 minutes. But maybe they edit heavily and I just don't notice it because I'm just enraptured in what they're talking about in their process. Uh, okay, well, that's what I'm going to do. I will be back when I get this doodled. Like, subscribe, etc., etc., etc. Um, check the community tab because I do post things over there. If I don't make a video about something and I make something that I think is neat, I'll post it over there. Uh, yeah, and... What did I said, like, I said, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Nice. Thanks. Welcome back to my messy desk. I finished her. Uh, so this is what I ended up with. Uh, it just gave me a very Mary Poppins 
English vibe. Uh, so if you'll recall, this was red and white, so I made it purple and white. Um, I wrote Pip Pip Cheerio because I just love that. Apologies to any of my UK viewers. I understand. Uh, I'm American. You have to you have to cut me a little slack. Uh, I used some pit brush pens to to do her little checkerboard dress here. Um, I used some pit pens to accentuate the blue in her eyes, which you probably can't tell. Uh, this blue smudgy line is a Marabou art crayon that I did and I just smudged it with my finger um, and then I went behind with Posca and did white dots on it. Um, I just, I'm not quite confident enough to really start doodling. So, so this is what I did. Uh, I really like her little hat made out of shoes. I think that that's cute. Her hands or her arms are made out of spoons or flatware. Uh, that's an upside down range hood that is supposed to be a chimney. Uh, and she's jumping off the chimney. These are just really cool. I thought that I like the pink element that they brought in. It kind of pops out. I don't know. I'm not over here trying to do fine art, man. I'm over here doing how fast crafts. Peace.